Hi there, how are you today? I hope you're doing well and welcome to my channel. This is Empathic Moon 777. I am your tarot card reader, Durga Diana. This is the daily tarot messages from Loving Spirit series on my YouTube channel. This is the love reading. So this happens during the weekdays. So we are in Friday. So I will be seeing you guys again on Monday. This is a general collective reading. Um, and because it's general, only take what resonates for your situation and simply leave what does not and follow your intuition on the reading. Um, you're going to know if this reading resonates with you. I'm going to be talking about what is the reading about and then you're going to know if this is um, something where there may be some messages for you at this time. So this is for the followers and subscribers to Empathic Moon. And if you are new, I want to welcome you. Um, this is not excluding anybody. And this is a timeless reading. So if you see this reading in a different now moment, it may be relevant for you. And uh, so we'll get started on the reading today. Uh, so let's see what's happening today in terms of the energy that has come through for the collective. Let's get started. So the situation here today we're talking about this energy of strategy so uh the situation is involving a strategy somebody is making some type of plan um and the plan is connected to this five of wands in reversed so this energy has been coming up um lately um this is an energy about inner conflict conflict avoidance and tension release so um, this energy, somebody is having some type of, some type of turmoil um, and this person is maybe has avoided this turmoil for a while and um, it's now time to release this energy. So there is now a strategy occurring with this energy coming through with this inner conflict and inner tor turmoil. And uh, so let's see what's, what this strategy uh, is further about. Let's see. Uh, okay, we have victory and success. So this person wants to be successful with this strategy, with this inner turmoil. And uh, the victory and success has to do with collaboration. So it has to do with um, being in a community. Um, feeling well in the community. Uh, everybody is utilizing their gifts and everybody's working together for a common cause or they're being supportive, they're collaborating. So it's having victory and success in this collaboration energy or in this community energy. And this is happening in the physical. So um, somebody is strategizing to get out of some kind of inner conflict and it has to do with having some type of success in the community. So there may be some kind of struggling going on with other people at this time. There is people in this five of wands energy. And I feel like this person is wanting to get out of that. And uh, it is a, it has been bothering them for a while. And now they're trying to make a plan on how to be successful in being in this energy of like it's like a harmonious community that's what i'm getting here so it's about collaboration it's about community and being successful rather than having this energy here where there's a lot of conflict and maybe perhaps fighting uh something to do like that all right so that is the situation coming through and then the message is having to do with a uh, status quo um, so the status quo is something to do with the norm. So uh, the status quo is like um, the normal. Um, whatever the, your normal is, like there's different status quos, like it's the norm. And um, the status quo is something that is deemed acceptable. Um, it may be seen as the correct way and... Um, anything outside of that is the wrong way so there's a status quo energy that is um the message here it has to do with 
the status quo and there's a stalemate all right so the stalemate is there is no movement and um there is some kind of impasse like there's something like not moving there is um a, a decision has not been made and there is no movement with the status quo energy as the message here and it's connected to um this no movement with the status quo um there's this journal energy coming through writing diary and keeping notes and this journal is connected to the moon's energy connected to fears connected to doubting connected to um fear of the dark illusions um not seeing things because things are not clear things are kind of dark things are unknown all right so i'm getting here with the message here having to do with this strategy we do have the journal uh card here this is telling me about maybe perhaps taking some notes writing down some notes um about where you may be feeling this stalemate energy in connection to uh the norm and writing down those fears and illusions that are connected to that and how to come out of that as the strategy that's another um thing that i'm getting as a as a message here all right or this could be another person maybe doing this all right they may be working on this in this way all right so or this could be for yourself so the masculine and the feminine like it could be a mirror or it could be you or it could be your person please take the reading how it it applies to your situation and follow your intuition okay let's get into the situations here so the first situation we have is the victory so victory is here and victory is here so somebody the situation is about victory the victory is having to do with this not sure energy like this is like am i am i investing properly like are the returns going to be good um like this is a questioning kind of energy you're not sure you're hoping you're anticipating you're wondering you might be doubting yourself like did i invest properly um and you're wondering okay am i gonna reap the benefits of this work right so um it's wanting to be victorious about this wondering energy is what I'm getting here. And um, it's connected, this victory is connected to foundations and achievements. So this is about happiness, foundations in the physical. Um, we have a foundation, we have a rainbow over the house. We have a, um, a family here looking upon the house and looking upon the rainbow and um, I feel like there's an energy of contentment here, all right? And there's some, and it, this contentment has to do with the achievement, all right? Foundations and achievements connected to um, moving forward. So the wheel turning in your favor. Um, so this person is um, wanting to be victorious in, in their foundation and achievement. That working out for them. Uh, in a good way so the wheel is turning the wheel is turning towards this uh, foundations this happiness and this achievement all right and there is a little bit of doubt there there is a little bit of worry but there is the situation about being victorious over that so that's what's coming through as the situation what is the message the message here is in connection to these energies is that spirit is saying that there is an increase there is something that is increasing there is a cycle that is increasing the energy is increasing so when something is increasing that means it's um, becoming stronger uh, or it could mean that it's um, yeah it's becoming more stronger there's more uh, energy there's an there's an increase of an energy this could be about a cycle 
this increase is connected to the seven of wands in reverse so there's something there's an increase of this energy of giving up so somebody is really feeling exhausted somebody is really feeling overwhelmed and somebody is really really feeling like giving up right now all right so that's the message spirit is saying and they're really wanting to give up and there's an increase here and there's also this increase um this increase is connected to denial so this there's an increase of uh this denial not facing the truth you know just like denying the truth or not facing the truth there's an increase of that there's an increase of exhaustion giving up feeling overwhelmed and this denial of not facing the truth has to do with communication so the eight of wands is about communication uh, fast moving energy or this could be about traveling okay so this person here that this message is about there's somebody here whoever this reading is about somebody is going through this increase of exhaustion and they're exhausted because they're denying this communication energy or they're denying um this travel energy or they're denying like this this i'm getting here it's either about communication or it's about travel okay so that's the message here let's go into the second situation second situation here is the woman holding a coin in reversed so this is an indication that there is some kind of um uh health issue there's some kind of health issue or there's some kind of issue where you're you're feeling doubt about yourself um, you may be feeling doubt about yourself or you may feel some kind of lack or there's and it's it's affecting your health in a, a negative way like um, it could be about self-worth or your value maybe somebody has something has triggered you to feel um, less than or this could be about you in this state right now okay there's something going on in terms of the health this could be about a lack of money all right but i'm but i see the crown chakra here so i'm connecting this with something to do with health and uh some kind of value there's something that has uh there's something uh imbalanced in terms of value so it, this could be about value of self or something has triggered or somebody has triggered you into this feeling into this energy having to do with worth self-worth um feeling uh abundant feeling good feeling happy uh feeling um well and so this um energy here is connected to some kind of passion so this potential energy of the page of wands is a is a potential energy that has a lot of passion so when you're really wanting something like you have a lot of passions um that is the page of wands energy all right and this is something that is not moving it's a it's a very strong potential energy and so this strong potential energy that this passion is about this person is not feeling, um, uh, they're not feeling well. There's something going on in the health. Uh, this person may be feeling some kind of lack. Okay, so this is connected to the crown chakra. There's something going on on top of the head, the crown chakra. So this is the... Um, the crown chakra is connected to your higher self it's connected to spirit all right when that chakra is balanced you feel well like you feel like you can do anything right um you have a very aligned connection with spirit and yourself um 
and there is no right wrong good or bad in this energy so if there is an imbalance all right it's affecting the health and it's affecting um how you are viewing your passion your potential passion here all of these passions it's affecting that and there's some kind of holding on okay there's something being held on to that is connected to the crown chakra so i'm getting here it is affecting the health of yourself or affecting the health of this person okay and uh, let's see what this is about so the message here in connection to these energies is that they're saying that there is stuck energy there's stuck energy with this uh king of pentacles energy so this could be about your this this could be about spirit talking about the health issue there's some kind of stuck energy perhaps in the crown chakra where you're holding on to something in connection to this king of pentacles energy the king of pentacles energy could be about um the masculine um in this energy of the king of pentacles um stable grounded uh, resourceful um well in the physical world abundant okay Al aligned true integrity respect honesty so or this could be about yourself needing to be there's something stuck in connection to this energy all right so take it how it applies to your situation. Let's see what this stuck energy has to do with. All right. So the stuck energy has to do with love. Okay. So there is something that is affecting the health in the crown. That's what I'm getting here. And this love, it has to do with love. And there's something stuck. Okay, this love energy is connected to um, this Queen of Wands. Okay, so it has to do with something about taking some type of action in connection to love. All right, so I'm going to leave you with that. Let me know if this reading resonates with you by liking or commenting or subscribing to Empathic Moon 777. I do offer personal services if you are interested in that. I will have that information below. And I also have a couple of um, perks, I guess you could say. I have a promotion. I have a contest that I will put the link in the description box. And I also have a one card oracle reading uh, for subscribing onto the website. And um, I will be doing some energy check-ins for the twin flame collective uh this weekend i might be doing it tonight so um i will keep you updated on that on my instagram page and i just want to wish you guys a good weekend and thank you for you know sharing this time together and i love you guys and i wish you all the best and take care